What is up my dudes? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing something a little bit different and I'm very, very excited for it. I am going to be doing a pen test and this is for the brand Rytec. They were kind enough to send me a bunch of their products to test out and they did not disappoint. I am super, super happy with the quality of all of these products. First up, we have the Vintage Dual Brush Pens. I think this is by far my favorite set that they sent. These brush pens are definitely comparable to the Tombow Dual Brush. I really, really love the way the tip has flexibility. It doesn't do that weird fraying or have any sort of texture. It's pretty consistent with how a Tombow writes and it almost has that opaque watercolor feel to it, but the color palette is just incredible. I, I really love these, so I have been using them nonstop, and I carry four of the colors with me at all times. Um, just very, very happy with this product for sure, and they are $9.99 on Amazon for a set, so you really can't beat that. It's a great price, and they are great quality. On top of having a vintage set, they also have a pastel color palette, which is what I'm about to swatch. It is beautiful. And then on top of that, they also have a bright colored set, which I just received. I was not able to swatch it in this video, but I'm very excited to use them as well. Um, again, these ones kind of have that opaque feel in pastel colors. I am drawing on a Moleskine, which is about, I believe it's 80 GSM paper. So it's rather thin. This is kind of just like my sketchbook, um, but it does not bleed on 120 GSM paper and it does not bleed on the 160, which is what I use for bullet journaling. And I feel like 120 GSM to 160 GSM has become the standard. Um, I do love thinner paper for just like daily journaling because I kind of like that it's opaque, but these don't bleed through my Stalogy, just this Moleskine. So yeah, beautiful colors again. I just love them. They are completely comparable to Tombow's. So if you are just starting out, like wanting to learn how to use a brush pen, I highly recommend these because it does not matter if you mess them up, um, you're getting a great value out of them. And here is a tip that I have kind of learned over the years with any sort of dual brush pen. It's best to store them horizontal because you have two ends that require ink. So anytime you're storing them vertical, there's gravity involved. So I highly recommend storing your brush pens horizontal. They will last a lot longer. Next up, we have the Rycheck retractable gel pens. I love these. They are 0.5 millimeter. Uh, there are two separate sets of vintage colors and they are all so beautiful. I would compare these to the Zebra Sarasa. I believe that's how you say it. That has been my go-to for a very long time, but they are kind of pricey to get a full set and they have a vintage collection like this, but again, it's pretty pricey. So I highly recommend these. They are awesome. They have this really cool like clicking mechanism. I didn't figure it out until a couple days ago, which was like way after I was filming this video, but they kind of like click open and close with that little clasp and it's kind of addicting and I'll kind of just sit there at work and click them up and down. I do keep these on me at all times as well. They write very smooth, there's no skipping and I'm just very, very happy with these. They are also $9.99 for a set of 10 on Amazon, so you can't beat that. And I will have all the links for each of these individual products listed below, so check that out. Next up are the Rytec Rollerball pens. I am not usually a fan of these type of pens. I'm not sure what it is. I think everybody obviously has a preference in pens, but Rollerballs were never like my top choice. I do love the way these write. They don't bleed on 80 GSM paper, which is pretty rare. So I actually keep a few of these vintage ones on me as well, because then I can use them just to do like random notes or jotting down feelings in my Stalogy notebook that I keep on me at all times. And then it just kind of adds a little bit of a vintage color to it. 
So I do like these, which is bizarre because I, like I said, I don't normally like rollers. These are only $8.99 a set and I recommend them because they have them in the vintage palette that I've shown a few times. They also don't skip and they are 0.5 millimeters, so extra fine point for a roller. And last up, we have the Ritek highlighters. I love these highlighters. I think this is my favorite thing that they sent me, or maybe I said that about the dual brush pens. I probably did because I like them both. The color palette for this is great and they are a lot like the mild liners, but again, for for this set, you can get 12 of them for 13 bucks. So you really can't beat that. And the color palettes are just so beautiful. They are bleed proof on 120 and 160 GSM paper, and there's so many different color options. So I really love these. I use them a lot for note taking for school and they are incredible. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I had fun making it and I just thought it would be kind of cool to show you guys options that are more reasonably priced for kind of the same things that I've been using for years. You don't have to spend a lot of money to be good at bullet journaling. So just keep that in mind and check out Rytech. They are incredible. Um, again, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Later.